welcome home. Yeah, what's going on YouTube? Apoxy here. So guess what? Bethesda just dropped a brand new video showing us more on the character system in Fallout 4. Yes, so in this video we get to focus on the character system and more specifically the perk chart and how it works. And trust me, this is a much bigger deal than some of you may have realized. And we get a ton of information that the video was actually going too fast for most people to even notice and for most people to even want to pause and take a break to check out everything that this video actually shows us. So I'm here in this video to show you guys everything that you may have missed in this video and what it could mean. So anyways, let's go ahead and start this off. So this video starts off with a nice little look of a neighborhood in Fallout 4 that shows us what some of the smaller towns of civilization may look like. However, it actually looks like this is more or less a ghost town. Also, if we take a look at the compass, we can also see an indicator of what looks like to be a car. And if we look in the direction of where it points, it looks as if there is a vehicle around the corner behind the fence and the tree. Now, this could mean drivable vehicles. However, I'm going to personally stay more or less on the more simple explanation and saying that we may actually be able to loot the broken vehicles in Fallout 4, and they apparently show up on our compass when in viewable distance. And this wouldn't really be that big of a surprise as there were mods for previous Fallout games where we could actually loot the vehicles. And there are a ton of games out there that are of a post-apocalyptic worlds that allow us to actually loot the vehicles, such as DayZ. So it would be really nice to see that feature join in in Fallout 4. And even, you know, drivable vehicles. I'm sure there's a ton of people out there that want drivable vehicles. I personally actually don't even want drivable vehicles, but I guess it could actually happen. But I personally think this will just be lootable vehicles. We then get a look at what proves we get to choose when to level up our skills after earning the required experience points by looking at the level up option when opening the pit boy It actually shows us an indicator beside the text of how many level ups are available to the player. And once in the perk menu, we get a look at multiple perks, including better criticals, big leagues, commando, gun nut, rifleman, science, and even toughness. Starting off with better criticals, which actually makes crits do 50% more damage and includes three ranks next is big leagues a perk that was actually featured in the strength episode and does indeed give us 20 percent damage increase for melee weapons and includes five total ranks thirdly we get a look at commando giving us a bonus of 20 percent damage with automatic weapons and includes five ranks Next is Gun Nut, which gains us access to ranks of gun mods and includes four total ranks. Rifleman giving us attacks with non-automatic rifles, a 20% damage bonus and has five ranks. And lastly, Toughness, which instantly gains you plus 10 damage resistance with five total ranks. We then move on to the perk chart, giving us the ultimate look at the character and leveling system. And I can tell you guys right now when I was looking through all this and breaking it down and analyzing it, Honestly, this was one of the most exciting things that I've seen from Fallout 4 so far besides the actual announcement. So anyways, we quickly learn that leveling allows us to rank up our special stats with our level points, or we can unlock a perk of our choice with the level points. Also, keep in mind that Bethesda already announced we can level up unlimited times, eventually allowing us to actually have every single perk and max out all of our special stats, and then being complete on the leveling process. And now we actually get a look at a ton of perks and what they do, and trust me, you're going to want to stay and listen to this because some of these perks are really interesting and never before seen in the vanilla follow games however there were some mods that actually kind of introduced portions of what these do so anyways let's go ahead and move on to this we start off with the charisma tree and we actually get to see every single charisma perk which is really interesting the first perk we see in the charisma section is cap collector which will make buying and selling prices at vendors better and it includes three ranks the second perk we see is lady killer which makes women suffer plus five percent damage in combat and are easier to persuade in dialogue and this perk includes three ranks the third perk we see is lone wanderer which makes it so that when when traveling without a companion, you take 15% less damage and carry weight is increased by 50 and even includes 3 ranks. The fourth perk we see is Attack Dog, which makes your canine companion able to hold an enemy, giving you a greater chance to hit them in VATS and includes three ranks. The fifth perk we see is Animal Friend, which allows you to aim at any animal below your level 
and gains you the chance to pacify them and includes three ranks. The sixth perk that we see is local leader, which allows you to be able to establish supply lines between your workshop and settlements and includes two ranks, which I presume is actually the caravan system that we heard about in the actual E3 announcement. The seventh perk we see is party boy, which makes it so that there is no chance you'll actually get addicted to alcohol. However, there is three ranks to this, so maybe there is in the next tiers, it will make it so that you either benefit from alcohol or either you won't get addicted from certain chems. I'm not quite too sure. Feel free to leave your thoughts on that down in the comment section below. The eighth perk we see is inspirational, which makes it so that your companion does more damage in combat and cannot hurt you. And this also includes three ranks. Now, this also does confirm that companions can actually damage you with their weapons, whether it's melee, whether it's actual automatics, or whether it's explosives. The ninth perk we see is Wasteland Whisper, which allows you to aim at any Wasteland creature below your level and gain a chance to pacify it and includes three ranks. So this is the creature version of Animal Friend. The 10th and final perk we see in Charisma is Intimidation, which allows you to aim at any human opponent below your level and gain a chance to pacify them and includes three ranks. We also get a look at the ranks for Intimidation, which are really cool. The second rank making it so that when you successfully pacify someone, you can incite them to attack. The third and final rank, making it so that you can give them specific commands when successfully pacifying them, which is absolutely insane. And I really cannot wait to see this feature in actual action. We now get a look at a few perks in intelligence. The first perk we see is VANS or V-A-N-S. It's sort of spelt like VATS where it has the abbreviation points in between each letter. And what it does is it makes it so that the path to your closest quest target is displayed in VATS and doesn't have any ranks. I'm personally confused by this as I don't know what the point would be of this perk if you couldn't enter VATS whenever, so maybe you can do that now. I'm not quite too sure how this is going to work. I'm not even quite sure what the description means. If you know, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below because I don't know whether I'm either brain dead or whether this is actually a confusing description. The second perk we see is Medic, which makes it so that stim packs restore 40% of lost health and right away removes 40% of radiation, and it includes four ranks. The third perk we see is one I've already covered from earlier in this video, but it gives you access to certain ranked gun mods and for ranks. And yes, I'm talking about gun nut. We now get a glimpse at sneak in the agility ability tree, sneak making it 20% harder to be detected while sneaking and it also has five ranks in total and is the third perk in agility. We now get a look at the luck perk called Bloody Mess, which gives us a plus 5% bonus damage and makes it so that enemies will sometimes explode into a gory red paste. And sadly, that is where we end off, but at least we got a massive look into the character and perk chart system and now officially know how the leveling works and what a portion of the perks also do. If you want to watch the official video with God Howard's comment, feel free to check out the link in the description below but anyways guys that is actually it for this video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did please smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fight it'd be super greatly appreciated but until next time this is epoxy signing All off the way down screaming.